Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a bit different than my usual content as we're gonna delve into a new field, astrology. I like reading the horoscope and the use of astrology to predict the future, although it's a lot more complex than what we usually read in magazines. But what I find particularly interesting is the use of astrology to get to know yourself and your journey better. If you've never read your birth chart, I encourage you to do it. I'm sure you'll be surprised by the insight you gain. Anyway, today I want to focus on a particular element of karmic astrology, the lunar nodes. According to the philosophy of karma and reincarnation, we choose specific lessons for each life based on what we did and didn't learn in our past lives. The lunar nodes show us where we come from and where we're going. If you feel lost, like your life has no direction, or if you are unsure of your talents and skills, look up your lunar nodes and trust me, you will better understand your journey. It will all make more sense. So we have the north node that represents the present, the direction you are called to explore in this life. It's your destiny, your path, the energy associated with your soul mission, the talents, passions and growth you need to access in order to reach your full potential. Then we have the South Node that represents the past. It's comfort, what is known, safe and secure within you. It's the lessons, the experience, the knowledge you are already born with. It's your spiritual comfort zone in other words, what you practiced and learned already in your past lives. The North Node tells us where we're going in this life. The South Node tells us where we come from. Keep in mind that the information provided by the North Node and South Node refers specifically to your spiritual evolution. So with the North Node, it's what you must learn to live the life your soul aspires to experience. With the South Node, it's what your soul has already learned and processed through your past incarnations. This is important because we tend to rationalize. When we think about our life, we plan and make projects based exclusively on what our mind tells us, often giving priority to what's more convenient or socially acceptable. We always make it about the mind and we rarely listen to our soul when it's the soul that has taken us here, and it's all about the soul. Learning about your lunar nodes can help you connect with your spiritual dimension and find ways to live a more authentic life in alignment with your soul purpose. I will link a website in the description box that calculates nodes for you. If you can, look up the sign but also the house of the nodes, as that gives you even more information. Let's now talk about my placements. My North Node is in Pisces in the first house. So my theme for this life is developing my spirituality in relation to my identity, which should grow through independence and self-reliance. My South Node is in Virgo in the seventh house, so the opposite of Pisces in the first house. And this shows in my discipline, I'm like a soldier, very goal-oriented, precise, analytical, but I'm also self-critical and a bit of a perfectionist. Qualities that I have developed in my past relationships. With this placement, there's a strong emphasis on my connections with people, because in the past there was quite a risk for codependency. And why now I have my North Node in the first house, so I am encouraged to be more independent and self-reliant. I'm curious to know what sign your nodes are. Let me know in the comments, let me know if this topic resonates with you or not, and I'll see you next week. Holy Spirit,